Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Abby. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So in today's video, I will be continuing with my sunscreen review. So the sunscreen of choice for today is the Sun Bomb Face 50 sunscreen. So this is what it looks like. And if you are in the UK, um, you can get this from Amazon.com. Uh, so all you have to do is just change your preference like your location your country or you can just go if you're like on the website just type on amazon.com rather than amazon.co.uk the seller where i got this from but also sold the neutrogena face oil free matte spf 30 sunscreen i can't remember the exact name and i got both of them in the same order so i've been using both uh, i've tried both basically so this is you know one on the list to try uh, i saw a few videos on this a few months back I think even last year as far back as last year and uh, a lot of people said that it was really good for oil oily skin or acne prone skin so as the name suggests this is the Sun Balm Phase 50 UVA UVB broad spectrum SPF 50 water resistant <laughs> actually I'm just reading off the claims now SPF 50 sunscreen is water resistant up to 18 minutes lightweight oil free fragrance free breakout free i.e it's non-comedogenic um dermatologist tested which is kind of like a marketing thing i think it, it's more important when it says it's dermatologically tested and even then we need to know the results because it's been tested on skin is what dermatologically tested means whereas it's been dermatologist tested it means it's been tested by a dermatologist but we don't know what their opinion of it is and it's gluten-free vegan three fluid ounces 88 uh, mls so on the back we actually have a lot of information which is what i like this is kind of like the typical neutrogena uh layout where you have the active ingredients and then you have a bit about the instructions the warnings yada 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 so yeah so on to the actual sunscreen itself again i said i came across it because i've seen i saw a few videos on youtube uh, and it was recommended for oily skin however okay so i was trying to record this in my lunch hour let's see how quickly this can go however it isn't recommended for the eye area and i know that because i've tried it a few times so i do use my vici uh vichy spf 50 face uh like sunscreen stick around my eyes just most times anyway but for this particularly you don't want to get this on your eyes so this is what it looks like up close but i mean you can see it already and i love the texture of this if you shake it you can hear it's quite runny and I do try to remember to shake it every time before I use it um, in terms of the actual uh, what do you call it in terms of the actual filters in here it has 3% avobenzone 10% homosalate 5% octisalate 10% octocrylene and it has uh, additional antioxidant benefits from the aloe uh, from vitamin E and I think it also said it has aloe vera something something aloe vera lotion or something or other so going by the actual website itself it has aloe lotion to help calm and soothe our skin it says so everything I need to know about this sunscreen in terms of what it contains is on the packaging which is really really great it is a US sunscreen which means it doesn't have the typical four star five star you know the star rating that we're used to in the EU and in the UK so if you look out for that and you don't see that that's why it's not there that's a EU related thing it's not something a lot of uh, uh, American sunscreens have and also it's equivalent to like the plus 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 rating you, you get with a lot of Korean or KBT related type sunscreens um, in terms of the warnings it does also say you shouldn't use this on damaged or broken skin which I can attest to I do have a like post COVID rash like a eczema I did catch COVID by the way a while back um, so I do have a rash on my neck and it's the worst place to have a rash I always get a rash on my neck anytime I'm ill in a, in a way uh, so it always make results in like a darker neck for me when the rash heals but this rash is still persisting not the rash itself but like the dry skin and irritation that keeps flaring up afterwards so this did feel a bit stingy when I applied it this morning um, what else does it say? It says you should apply it liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply and obviously after swimming you need to reapply it as well. 
and ch children under six months of age, you should always ask the doctor before applying. And obviously, general advice, if you are going to use some protection, again, try to use physical protection in, in terms of your clothing, wearing a hat, avoiding sunlight during, you know, the hours of 10 and two generally on a sun, on a really sunny day, and just try and keep out of the sun if you can. The sunscreen can only do so much. In terms of the UVA, typically UVA does protect you from aging, which is, you know, it basically penetrates deeper into the skin. It can damage collagen and elastin and damage the DNA as well. So that's hence why it results in aging. A lot of the damage from UVA rays, you can't see until like later on down the line. Whereas from UVB, generally speaking, you will see once you res it results in a burn. Uh, so yeah, so that is basically the, the two that you need to worry about. UVA, UVB, and um, it is broad spectrum like it says, but you do need to frequently reapply it, which I typically do not, but I try to, so yeah. It says it's paraben free, which again is a bit of like a clean beauty type of claim. Parabens are the most effective, um, what's the word? preservatives out there in terms of cosmetics and they have not been beaten so I am team parabens. Um, it is phthalate free, oxybenzone free, retinol palmitate free, oh is retinol palmitate now the devil and hypoallergenic but anyway in terms of the application what does it apply like it is very very thin on the skin obviously you're going to see a demo of me applying it it absorbs in fairly easily it has like a satin matte finish after you know you've applied it and after it's set in but it will eventually still get oily because that's what your your skin will still get oily eventually so again it's not like an all day matte sunscreen and what else i like it but i won't apply it around my eyes and i do need to top up you know if i've if i've had it on since early morning if i haven't worn makeup i do generally i'm quite good with that now that i'm working from home apply it before i go out again like you know to go do the school run I really like it. I, I purchased two of this just based on faith because of the good reviews I saw online and I would repurchase it. So again, if you're in the UK, you can, you can purchase it through Amazon.com and it came in like, was it four days? Something crazy. It came in like four days. You would never believe it came from the US. I have things that order from this country that don't even arrive in four days. So that was amazing. And like I said, I got it with the Neutrogena uh, Face SPF 30 sunscreen, which I will do a review on as well. Is there anything else to add to this? I would recommend it definitely because it's a chemical sunscreen. It does disappear into the skin you don't have to worry about a white cast if you're oily if you have oily skin this is a good option for you the only other problem is that obviously it's not readily available and if you do find it on amazon.co.uk you probably pay a premium for it so i just say apply apply buy it from amazon.com and just buy like two bottles minimum or something that way you get a bit more uh bank for your buck and that is it i'll continue to use this i really do um, enjoy using it it's close to matte it's like a satin matte in, in, in all fairness but it's also a very good sunscreen and it has like old school I want to say old school filters in here you know um, it's, it hasn't got tin or anything like that in there it does have old school filters but again I'm trusting the formulation and it is factor 50 which is you know one of the highest um, SPF factors you can get so that is something uh, to to you know to rave about, to write home about. So yeah, I do like it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. For um, acne prone skin, definitely. I haven't noticed that it broke me out. If you've noticed anything like that, um, please do leave a comment down below. If you've tried this generally, uh, please do leave a comment. Let me know how you found it. Did it sting around the eyes like it did for me, <laughs> like it did for quite a lot of people? Let me know as well. And if you do try it, please do avoid the eye area, just point blank. And if you're not sure what to use, uh, you could use the Vichy SPF 50 sunscreen stick, which I'll leave a link down to. I'll leave a link for this as well. It's just a regular link. The Vichy sunscreen stick link will be an affiliate link. If you choose to purchase from that, that'll be supporting my channel and supporting me. And also, if you like this review, please do give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I do have more videos like this. I also have makeup related videos, hair care related videos coming up. So that's the kind of thing I like to do on my channel if you're interested in anything like that please do subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my next video. So until then, stay blessed, have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.